Hi everyone, it's uh, Vince not doing a live stream. You might be wondering, why am I doing a non-live video content? Uh, a good friend, one of our mods and uh, longtime supporters of the channel, uh, pretty much sourced information to us that uh, Cheetos was going to be doing something new. I don't know if they did it in the past, if they were just bringing it back or something like that. But Cheetos has their own mac and cheese now. They have the plain flavor, uh, just like kind of like bold, cheesy, bold, cheesy or something like that. Uh, the, the thing right here, which I'll be trying today. And there will be two other videos trying out the other two uh, flavors, which is the jalapeno and the uh well the hot cheetos flavor <laughs> let's just say the cheetos that i'm going to be eating today or the cheetos mac and cheese will not be looking like this in fact uh as it sits it's getting even more orange <laughs> uh, i just recently cooked it it's still hot uh yeah it looks like this um here, I even give you a nice little forkful of what it kind of looks like. I'll stir it up. I'll stir it up. But yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, so first impressions before I actually eat it. Well, I already taste a little bit of it, but that's not enough. Um, first impressions. It it's clearly along the lines of a Kraft Mac and Cheese or one of those uh, store name brand Macs. Uh, it's powder based. It's not like the Velveeta Kraft. It's more the powder Kraft. And when it comes to the noodles itself, it's the spiral noodle noodles. So it kind of tries to hold more of the flavor, more of the cheese within every noodle strand. But yeah, when I cooked it, very simple, you know, it's all on the packaging. They even have microwave instructions for you guys that just don't know how to use a stovetop. But the way I cooked it, I followed the instructions to the letter. I put a little bit more butter just because the, you know, whenever you're uh, doing the mac and cheese that consists of powder, you need a little bit more uh, milk and uh, butter or margarine if you're a person that uses margarine um and it, it needed it because <laughs> the uh the actual powder started clumping up so you need a little bit more butter and also keep it on the heat so you can break it up so now that i successfully do it let's taste it and uh i'll let you guys know <laughs> what i think of it so i've never done one of these so forgive me if i I'm not like review bra or <laughs> something like that, but here's my spoonful. It looks messy. It's definitely super fucking orange. <laughs> it's like, it's really weird. Do a few more bites <laughs> just just because I'm just trying to figure out how to long term like flavor effect you know <laughs> Okay, now I let it rest, and I'm kind of like going over the flavors that went on as I was eating. 
So, at first, not a lot of flavor. It kind of felt, in a way, when I was eating my first bite, uh, at least for the first three to five seconds, there was no flavor going on. Then, somehow, flavor activated. Like, instantly. <laughs> That's why it gave you the look. And I was like, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> and it's, it's a weird... It's really weird. It tastes like a Kraft mac and cheese. I don't know if they collaborated with Kraft, but it does, for the most part, have that Kraft mac and cheese, uh, the cra the powder Kraft mac and cheese taste to it, which is okay. It's no homemade or restaurant mac and cheese, but it's not bad. Uh, then, after a few more bites and all that, I started to get a little bit more of that Cheeto flavor, that Cheeto cheese flavor. Not gonna lie, it's it's not bad. I'll probably finish it. And um, the texture, when it comes to the noodles, eh, normal texture. Uh, the powder of the mac and cheese flavoring packet uh, isn't, you know, doesn't change the texture. Uh, it's a very, it's a kind of a very mild flavor. Uh, it's it's cheesy, but not super cheesy, not super like, you know, explosive when it comes to probably anyone's palate. But yeah, it's you know, if you like just simple mac and cheese like that, like Kraft mac and cheese, this this is okay. This is passable. Uh, for the most part, though, I can't wait to get to the jalapeno and the. The one, the one that really just looks kind of scary to like, almost look at, is the flaming hot mac and cheese. It's so red on the package, and I have no clue what the powder is, but I should have took a screenshot or a video of me pouring in the package of the mac and cheese flavoring, of the Cheetos flavoring, because holy crap, like it is, it is. It's even more orange than the package that Cheetah uh, Chester is holding, <laughs> which is so weird, man. That I'm making sure it doesn't color my uh, my tongue or anything like that. They they color my teeth. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, overall, eh, it's not bad. <laughs> There's nothing to scream home about. It's like, yo, you got to try this shit. It's amazing. Nah, it, it's it, it's 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 okay. <laughs> Would I get it again? Um, I mean, if there's no Velveeta mac and cheese or something like that, then yeah. Um, Laura and I cook our own homemade mac and cheese. We especially love uh, the Thomas Edison version uh, baked mac and cheese. Or not Thomas Edison. Uh, Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson mac and you know his style. Of mac and cheese where you bake it and there's this beautiful crust and all that and when you go to mac and cheese like this i'm a i'm very picky when it comes to mac and cheeses uh not a bad mac and cheese it's just you know would i buy it again eh, maybe <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say is maybe it's not bad but it's not great uh we will be trying the jalapeno one next, and then we will be trying the last but not least, what I think will be the craziest uh, one, which is going to be the Flaming Hot Cheetos one. <laughs> so I'll let you guys know, and uh, yeah, as always, enjoy yourself.